Okay, so just so you know, I do have a video um, that I made a while ago on how to drill sea glass. Now, this video is how to drill sea glass, but I'm not going from the very, very beginning to the very, very end. This video is about how to drill, the best technique to drill a really thick piece of sea glass. This is like an eighth inch thick, which is really thick for a piece of sea glass. Um, so I'm actually doing this um, as a custom order from a from a customer. She wants this to be a pendant. Um, I also have videos on that. So the general setup, of course, is the handheld Dremel inside the work, work press or workstation. I have the lid of a to-go meal filled with water. And so now my drill bit, which is a diamond drill bit, and it has the ball at the end, is thick. So it is around 2.3 millimeters. So 2.3 millimeters is the size of that little ball um, diamond drill bit. Okay. Um, personally, I wouldn't recommend doing um, anything really that much smaller than that. It can be done, but I just find that the bigger surface area of that diamond bit, um, the better it's going to be to drill through. So what I've said in the past is it's always a good idea to mark your piece of sea glass with a pencil. And just so that you know, it's better than just eyeballing it, especially if you're kind of starting out. So I'm going to put that little circle right about there. Okay. I'm going to place it in the water. You want the water to cover it. So again, this is so thick that it's not even covering it. So we gotta put more water. Oh my God, okay. All right, a lot of water. Okay, but again, don't worry, it's safe. As long as your wire is not sitting in the in the um, water or the whole mechanism isn't in it. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna turn it on, probably to about the second speed on the Dremel. Take the lever, line it up. So you can see where I drilled. I did not drill all the way through. That's the whole point of it. If you turn it over, you can see through, even if it's a darker piece of sea glass, you'll be able to see through where you were drilling it. Now, what you need to do is you need to take your pencil again. So you have the side where you started to drill, go on the other side and mark where you see where that drilling took place on the other side because even though you can see it without marking it, it is deceiving. You'll start to drill it and you'll realize, oh my gosh, it's not drilling through. And you'll see that you're not actually lining it up. You'll, you're either going at an angle or you're totally missing the target. So really, really important to mark it nice and clear. So again, I'm going to place it in the water, turn it back on. And there you have it. Look at how nice and big that hole is. That did not take that long. Now, mind you, I, for my drill bits, I do not use them for many, many pieces of sea glass. As you're doing this, you will come to find from experience what is really sharp and what isn't. So let's say as I'm on my, could be seventh or eighth piece of sea glass, could be my 12th or 15th. It, it, it really depends on the actual sharpness. And 
I can start feeling that it's taking a lot longer to drill through one side and that means it's starting to dull. That brings up another point. I have this little stone, which I will put a link in the, in the description to where you can get these really when you order drill bits. Um, sometimes that's the same place that you can order these little stones. They're little sharpening stones. And what you want to do after every, before every piece, just in case you don't remember if you did it or not, or after every piece of sea glass, you want to sharpen it. So you're gonna dip the stone in the water, put it on the lowest, the lowest speed, and tap it around it. Tap it around it. That is sharpening your drill bit. Very important. Just about there. Dip it in and continue to drill. And like I said, in the description, I will have a link to where you can get my favorite kind of drill bits, uh, the stone, and I again, I will put in where you can get a handheld Dremel and the drill press, which again is also in that original video of how to drill sea glass, which I urge you to watch. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you for the next project.